Shirley, have you seen anything of teacher? No, Miss Dora. Good morning, Miss Dora. Good morning, teacher. The usual? Sure. Four donuts and a cup of coffee. Uh, <laughs> Anything else for breakfast, Andy? Uh -uh. Uh, not so long as they're your donuts. Flatter. I think you like the painty top. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Fine wife for some man? Do you think so? Oh, sure. I'm sure you would. Did you ever think of uh, getting married? Well, yes. Uh, you have, huh? Oh, yes. But the right man never asked me. He didn't, huh? No. <laughs> 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 I'm late for school. Hurry, it's the first time in 20 years. Hurry, hurry, Andy. Oh. Hurry. <coughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Andy. Goodbye. By way of apology, we'll have the music lesson first. Oh. <laughs> what is it, Shirley? Please, teacher, what general with five letters in his name was buried in Grant's tomb? What general with five letters in his name is buried in Grant's tomb? C. Lee, there's the Jackson, no, uh, Percy, still Hale and Hardy. Uh, <laughs> Now, first, we'll take the roll call. Hiram Abbott. Joshua Finch. Tom and Henry Hemingway. Abram Stone. He stayed home. Somebody broke his saxophone. William, John, and Robert Blunt. Silas Post. Gordon Cole. Briar Pratt. Daniel Moe. Clarence Spree. Everybody's here. <laughs> now for a little lung exercise. Uh, 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 uh. <clears throat> now hold that note until I tell you to stop.
What is it, Dora? What is it? What's happened? Andy, at last I found a way to make a perfect donut. What? Better even than the ones you have been making? Thanks, one. How do you like it? Dora, there never was a donut like that. Of course there wasn't. But look, watch me duck it in the coffee. My goodness. Let me dunk one. shows in the radio, you'd make a fortune. Yes, but think about the cost and how about the actors? I never thought of that. Goodness, I forgot to stop him. You see, I left him at... There's our entertainment. You're going to be famous from coast to coast. Andy. <laughs> children. Children, children. We're all partners in Miss Dora's Bakery. And I'll treat. Right. You mean we can have some donuts, Mr. Wilson? I sure do. Come on, come on in. Right. Come on. <laughs> all right, boys. Help yourself. Continuing the Cackleberry Farm program where hens are happy, Miss Gill will now render a foul song <laughs> as a chicken would sing it. Miss Gill. hasn't showed up yet, what'll I do? Well, keep her cackling till I see if I can locate you. Hey, <laughs> if she cackles another number, she'll lay a name. <laughs> Me. <laughs> Are you Mr. Wilson? Uh, sure, sure, that's me. This is my program. Well, hurry, hurry, you're on the air next. Hurry up. <laughs> we're on next. Now, we're on next. Now, come on, now, stick together. Oh, hey, buddy. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on. Right up there. Uh, the noise you hear, the uh, folks are being seated. Ah, uh, yeah, you'll uh, pardon the slight delay, folks. I had a flat tire at Knoxville. Oh, yes, Mr. Wilson had a flat tire at Knoxville, uh, but he didn't say who she was. <laughs> Introducing the new program, Mr. Andy Wilson and his dunkers. And, uh, just a moment, folks.
Uh, the noise you heard, folks, uh, wasn't a storm. It was Mr. Wilson arranging his music. <laughs> uh, Mr. Wilson, it's yours. Uh, <clears throat> ladies and gentlemen, this program is to introduce Dory's Dunking Donuts. They float. Remember the name, folks. They are baked by little Dora herself. Are you listening, Dora? Yes, Andy. I'm listening. Uh, uh, Dora's Dunking Donuts. <laughs> Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts. They are the rage of the land. No cookie, cake, or candy could be as fine and dandy. As Dora's Dunking Donuts, you'll be nuts about her donuts. You'll dunk them in your coffee or any old drink. You'll dunk them day and dunk them night and still they won't sink. Because Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, we'll have you know, they flow. Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts. You'll dunk them in your coffee or any old drink. You'll dunk them day and dunk them night and still they won't sink. Cause Dora's Dunking Donuts, Dora's Dunking Donuts, we'll have you know they flow. It was very well played, very well played. Now, I want three boys to do a dance. A friendly cow, a little one, I love with all my heart. She gives me cream with all her might to eat with apple tart. Uh, you better do it, uh, Jimmy and Bill and Richard. Teacher, teacher, funny and old with every hand and heart of the program, ladies and gentlemen, is the best dancing act you have ever seen. Take it easy, boys. There's nothing, there's nothing to it. Wish that boy of yours would keep step. Well, if you'd use your eyes, you'd see that he's the only one that didn't step. Oh, yeah. Oh, you're going to chime in, are you? I'm funny, Miss Dora. She's the sponsor. Mr. Wilson, I'm not given to compliments, but you have a splendid act. Oh, I'm so glad to hear you say that, because you know Miss Dora sunk her last dollar in this program. You have nothing to worry about whatsoever. Oh, thanks a lot. An awful lot. Make yourself at home. Thanks. Hello. Uh, uh, hello, hello, Miss Dora. Dora, this is Andy. Uh, you listening to the program? Yes, Andy. It sounds splendid. Ladies, 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 Oh, my, oh, my, oh, my. <laughs> ladies, 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 what's the trouble? What's the trouble? Oh, 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 I'll put on a little red riding hood. Well, put on something and be quick about it. Sure, can I have a table quick? It's all right, table quick. All right, ladies, a broad pack for one. Oh, my lad, don't you come on. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I will now give you the drama of Little Red Riding Hood, playing the three parts myself of the little girl, the grandmother, and the wolf. A 
And the bear? And the bear. Uh, there is no bear, ladies and gentlemen. Surely. Uh, uh, once upon a time, there was a little girl called Little Ebra riding her. Mr. Wilson! What is it? What? You fell on the wolf's head. Uh, yeah. Uh, Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, a little mistake. Uh, there was a little girl called Little Red Riding Hood. She was going to visit her grandmother in the middle of the forest. <coughs> the trees were chirping to the bear. They, they chirped. They, uh, the grandmother was sound asleep in bed. There's a knock at the door, and the grandmother wakes up. Grandmother wakes up, Shirley, will you please? Get away from here, will you please? Uh, naturally, the grandmother thinks it is Little Red Riding Hood, but it isn't. <laughs> Who is it? It's the great big hungry wolf. Uh, <laughs> Mind your business. Well, where's the wolf? Where? Who's got the wolf? The wolf! Wherever that woman is, there's always trouble. There certainly is. Quiet! Well, get out, out of here. here. Me, I'm going home. Listen, uh, we're in the middle of the program. Oh, I don't care. Come on, no problems of my own. I'm trying to... Who's up there? I don't know. All I can do. I'm in the middle of here. I'll have you understand why. I'm not going to get away with it. Shh. Will you get out of here? Get out. What are you... Get out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, this program will continue just the moment I find the wolf's head. There's only a minute... That's enough. I've had enough. Cheer up, Andy. You did your best. Oh, sure, but I just wasted all Miss Dora's money for nothing. You know, Miss Dora, I had no idea the program was such a success till after I'd thrown Mr. Wilson out. Success? Why, we're simply swamped with orders. Oh, that's great. <laughs> but to make amends, I want to offer Mr. Wilson and your donut program free time for a month. Will you sign here, please, in the bottom line? Oh! came to apologize. Uh, yes. I'm sorry. I'll see you on the air Friday at 2 o'clock. For well, sure. And I was a success? Why, that comedy battle you staged was a riot. Uh, comedy battle? Yes. Yeah. How did you ever come to think of it, Andy? It just happened. Ha, ha, ha. 